We know we're gonna catch them on frogs. We just we're just trying other baits right now. There's one. There's one. There he is. On the chatterbait. Came out of the weeds. Hey guys, it's your boy CNR Fishing. Hope y'all having a great day today. Welcome back to another video. Yesterday, me and my boy Brandon went out to a new, new pond we've never been before, and we caught a couple big fish. Hope y'all enjoy, and stay tuned. All right guys, starting off, starting with the chatterbait. Um, just gonna try to work this by these, in between these weed pockets. Just gotta, just work it right below where you can see it. The water clarity right now is probably about Pretty good, probably about a foot and a half to two feet. It's really good. Right now I'm using my medium heavy action uh, Lose Xfinity combo. You now we're gonna catch them on frogs. We just, we're just trying other baits right now. There's one, there's one, there he is, on the chatterbait, came out of the weeds, it's a pretty good one, Brandon's going to land him for me, oh that's a good one, got him, yes sir, three. on the chatterbait, nice little three pounder right there, maybe three and a half. Last picture of this guy. Then get a get a good release on him. There he goes. He's a little slow. He's been out of the water a long time, but he's good. Brandon caught a nice two and a half pounder. Post bond out, but um, tell me how you caught it. I was working it just like how you were the chatterbait on the weed line, and he came up and hit it right off the bank. Like I seen that fish like just smoke it. Yeah, he, he ate it. He was using a, a like a bluegill pattern. Uh, Double uh, Colorado blade spinner bait. This pond is already a uh, post spawn. All the fish are post spawn. We've been seeing a lot of fry. So what you want to do is you, if you see a lot of fry, you can throw like a moving bait or something that hops along the water or on the bottom. You can uh. Um, drag it right in between those fry and, and the dad or the male that's, that's guarding it he'll usually come out and eat, eat what's right by those fry Brandon's got one he's hooked up it's a good one he says nope. you get the I'll get them for you alright you got him. nice little Nice little two pounder. Show us that fish. Nice little two pounder. The release. And he's gone. There's one on the bed right here, I think. All right, I'm out of breath. I was running over here, but I think there's a fish on the bed over here. <laughs> Told you. There's one on the bed right there. I told you. Watch out. Where's he at? Hey. Got him. Got him. On the bed. Told y'all. Told y'all on the bed. 
Yeah, I got him. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. On the bed, on the trench hog. Y'all just gotta keep flipping and find that sweet spot. Keep working it, and eventually you'll get them. I think that's uh, that's a that's probably that's a male, probably guarding the fry or or eggs. They haven't hatched yet. Nice little two pounder on a bed. I I told you I seen them waking and waking. I was like, there's a fish on a bed over here, and I got them on the trench hall. All right, we're about to release them since we got those pictures. There he goes. It feels good to catch one. You seen them on the bed. Finally got them to bite. Yeah, on the trench hall, green pumpkin, natural color. All right, we got the old frog tied on. Guess my drag wasn't set. this nice little chunk on a black and blue sinker out there. He went past, he came from past those weeds, had to cast it out there. And uh, he hit it, he hit it once, I missed him. Now I just popped it twice and he got it again. And it's a nice little two pounder, I say. We're gonna get a release on him. Got a crack and crawl, uh, things like a watermelon red color. Um, natural color. Crack and crawl right there. Got a Texas rig. Stick your hook down in there. Just like that. So it doesn't get stuck on weeds. Just casting on these, these edge lines of this grass and stuff. Hoping one will come out and get it. Got one on the frog. Sorry guys, I couldn't get a good video. He ain't that big. But... Got him on the frog. My, my battery's going dead. Sorry I couldn't get a video of him. But there he is. Nice little one and a half pounder, 1.75. There he goes. Got this nice little two pounder. He's all, he's all post spawned out. I got it on a crack and crawl. I seen him on the bed. I, like, I don't know what's up with his phone. I, they got a couple fish on the bed and I just flipped it in there. Like I was telling y'all earlier, you just gotta keep, you just gotta keep trying. You just gotta, it took about 10 casts, but that's why I didn't, uh, do it on the GoPro because I'm getting low on battery so I didn't film it for y'all but it took about 10 casts and he finally got it. We're gonna let him go. And he's off back into the depths. But that to the right. I seen, he was, must have been on the bed because I seen him wake on it. Before I got to and I just drug it up and hopped it. He, he hammered it.
Get it. Brandon got one on the frog. Good one. Oh, that's four. dude. That's a four. Maybe three and a half. Landed. I gotta go land this, guys. Yeah, when he jumped out though, he looked big. Just bring him in. Nice. Good job. How'd you catch it? Frog. Good answer. That's all they need to know. Just frog. frog. They be munching the frog. Choked it all the way down the throat. Gone. Y'all, there's a fish over here that I just spooked and I just cast it right on top of him, I think. Hopefully he bites his crack and crawl. Come on, buddy, bite. Go, go, go. Got one on the crack and crawl. Good one. Hurt. He's not a good one, but... A fish is a fish, right? Another bed fish. I knew, I knew he was uh, there because I've been, I've been seeing him wake all day long. Another post spawn fish. Probably a male. Yeah, probably a male. Another one on the crack and crawl. He took my bait though. We're gonna get a picture and then we're gonna let this guy go. Here goes this guy. Another one on the crack and crawl. I'm surprised this sucker's working. There he goes. Dude, there's one munching over here, y'all. Gotta catch it. He's waking like crazy over here. I'm right on top of him right now, I think. So I got a, I've got a Zoom bubblegum pink worm on, trick worm. A wacky rig style. I'll try to get one. There he is, got him. On the, on the trick worm. That's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. Got him, Brandon. Yeah. Horse him in. Get in the boat. That's what we like to see. Nice, beautiful bass, dark coloring. About a two pounder. That's what we like to see. I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all, I told y'all. Bubblegum Peak, Wacky Rig, springtime. Gets the job done. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice little two pounder. I told y'all. Zoom trick worm, bubblegum pink during the spring. Every time it gets some. Y'all just need, if y'all don't have them right now, y'all need to go to the store, your local Walmart, Academy, anywhere, and they have them in stock. And you can catch fish like this during the spring. Let's get a release on it. Thank y'all guys so much for watching this video. I hope I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, we caught a couple of nice ones. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one.